Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tumpang Village, Tumpang District, Malang Regency. Now you are in Candi Jago. Today, I'm standing here as your tourist guide in this historical place to accompany and tell you all a lot of things you will see around the building. First of all, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Davar Ardeta Darlianto, and you can call me Arda. It's my pleasure to be of the service to you, to you, and I assure you guys will enjoy the historical place and this historical tour. Take it easy, because it will not be boring for you. If you have something to ask, just let me know, because answering your question is my duty, and all of my time is for you. Uh, before entering this temple, I will inform you of some rules. First, please be aware of the building construction because this is hundreds of years old construction which means the durability and the strengths are different from modern construction. So this is prone to collapse. The second one, smoking in this place. Is prohibited here then the next one is please don't change the arrangement of stories in this temple the fourth please don't scribble on objects in this heritage environment and the last please don't litter other than in the trash can you guys know the name of this place right and then yes this is Candi Jago Candi means temple this temple is a place as a form of tribute to Wisnuwardana, the fourth king of Singasari Kingdom. During the reign of Singasari Kingdom in 1249 to 1268, which was built in 1268, 13th century, based on the Pararaton and Negara Kartagama book, and for sure. This temple is one of the heritage sites of Singasari Kingdom. The original name of this temple or Candi Jago was Jajagu. Why is this place named Jajagu? Because Jajagu means the glory of Singasari Kingdom. And Javanese choose the easiest to call it Jago. Okay, now please follow me. Get closer in front of this temple. There are several kala and arca. As you can see, one of the kala there is only the head of Banaspati. It's only the head, which is probably usually placed above the temple door. And so, kala is the embodiment of Banaspati, as we have mentioned earlier, which is a forest ranger. Because the temple building symbolizes a mountain, which is filled with dense forest and kala is used an, as an antidote of the evil influences. Because of that, this object is usually placed above the entrance door of the temple. Also, there is a headless statue, which is the Amokpasa statue, which is the embodiment of King Wisnuwardana. For your information, Candi Jago is still in the form of ruins that have not been restored. Since 1843 till now, this temple is already in the form of Pundan Terrace and still there is no excavation. So it means that this temple is still the original shape. Move along, the entire of this building is a uh, 23 x 14 meters of three multi-story terraces going up the foot core of this temple gets smaller so that on the first and the second floor there is a corridor that can be passed around the temple the garbagra or the main camber is located slightly backward to go up to the upper floor there are two narrow stairs on the left and right side of the front 
or in waste. The topos is the purest floor that plays the important role which has the building slightly shift to the back. And now let's have a look. Candi Jago is filled with relief panels that are neatly sculpted from the feet to the wall of the upper room. There are almost no empty fill because all are filled with various decoration in this fabric or of the stories which contain the element of letting go. So this reinforces the nation that the constructions of Candi Jago is closely related to the death of in Candi Jago there is a relief divided into six segmented as I said before the Mahabharata relief craving the wildest than the other five reliefs the Mahabharata story contained here is one part of the Hasta Dasa Parwa or 18 parts of the Mahabharata story the story tells about the life of the five Pandawa who live in the forest after being expelled from the kingdom and the story begins when five Pandawa and the Kurawa came on taste to pet on wealth at the time Kurawa who have who had been educated his uncle Sengkuni made them try to get rid of the Pandawa it was also at this bed that five Pandawa lost because Sengkuni's tactic one that is at stake there is a woman the woman the woman Kurawa was betting on the Dewi Durpadi because of her beautiful face however there was a resistance from the five Pandawa this was because Pandawa had a good relationship with, with Drupadi their good relationship appeared when the Bharata Yudha war broke out there Drupadi strengthened the Pandawa to be able to fight the Kurawa who were bigger and stronger in number when the bet took place Dursasana a member of the Kurawa humiliated Drupadi by pulling on Drupadi's clothes so Drupadi was naked and finally she tried to cover her body again unrolling her hair there is a substitute for clothes Drupadi hair burn represent that the traditional curling hair has existed for a long time Drupadi has moved to continue conveying her body with her hair until she can wash her hair using the plot of the death of Dursasana as a result of the incident the five Pandawa finally decided to leave the kingdom and head to the forest not only Pandawa members but also brought with the Kunti or five Pandawa's mother Drupadi and the Punakawan Pandawa helper and caretaker also there are still Drupadi reliefs in Candi Jago however there is no specific story in it when Drupadi appeared when five Pandawa left Ketaton and then the third terrace is filled with reliefs of the Arjuna Wiwa story the body was the body walls of the temple are also filled with relief cravings of Hindu stories namely Krishna's war with Kalayama all right everyone there is all the historical story tour about Jago temple I do really hope that all the information will help you all to understand and love our history and culture even more also I'm very happy that you are very excited during this tour and finally we have come to the end of the tour and I would like to remind you all to recheck your personal belongings before leaving this place all right thank you so much for your participation and your good cooperation see you next time